Hello guys, it's your boy Dropper Legend here and today it's going to be a different type of video. It's going to be a retro FIFA club tour on FIFA 22. And yes guys, because FIFA 23 has been quite dead and this is the reason why I have been uploading content over there because it's quite dead. Maybe in the new year that's when I will start uploading on FIFA 23 again, but right now it's just dead. Um, yeah, let me guys give you guys a club tour of the team that I finished off with. So this is the team I use when it loads up. Uh, we managed to finish off with this team right here. As you can see, it's an unbelievable team. Um, it's a great team. We've got Rafael Ferran, a pretty card. I mean, everyone was literally going for him. He was quite expensive to do, but we managed to eventually complete him. Koulibaly, uh, moments card. He was quite easy to collect. He wasn't that difficult. What a card, by the way, Koulibaly. I mean, these two together were insane. We've got Nick Pope in goal. Um, yeah, Nick Pope was like the real deal in FIFA 22. We've got uh, Viverde on tradable. We got two others on tradable. Like, oh, sorry, that was my play dropping that. Uh, Dio Hernandez on tradable. We've got Marcelo. We had to pay like 216. Very good card. Kante on tradable. Eusebio, it was the SPC that we got. Um, we could please the SPC. Uh, the Black Panther, as I like to call him. Very good card. Who else we got? Cristiano Ronaldo, he was untradeable. I was lucky enough to get him. Very lucky to get him. And the era, Bell. I mean, this card is actually a joke. You can even play this. You can even play like Bell, like in the midfield position. So he's got like good defensive stats. Like if you give him like a, a guardian or something, I think like yeah, I think a guardian. Like his defensive stats will be great. And then we got Saint Maximin, another footies card that we completed as well. He did cost me a lot of scores to do, but he's worth a five star, five star. Like work hard, man, work hard. And then we got Frank Ribery on tradable as well. SPC, uh, Mane, what a card. I used him for quite a bit because of um, Gravin Birch. Like, amazing. We got Human Son on tradable. Um, he was a good card for me also. We got Sterling and, and uh, SPC. I used a fair. Uh, managed to use him for like a couple of games, not too much. Gravin Birch, I used him for a heck of a lot because of uh, Mane, like I said. Very good SPC. He was really good. Um, <laughs> Barella. What a card. Another, another beast of a card. As you know, I managed to complete a lot of SBCs. I don't know how, I don't know, right? I don't know how the hell I was able to complete um, Barella, Griezmann, um, let's say, uh, Ferran, Gareth Bale. Um, Set so Maximin and still have a team like this. Like, he's actually mad. <laughs> yeah, Antoine Griezmann. Sick player. I enjoy using him. I I think I prefer him over Ronaldo, though, but it's Ronaldo still. Ronaldo is Ronaldo, and yeah. Rudiger, my guy. My life. Rudy! Absolute crazy card I used him for. And because of the links, I had to get him. I had to get Koulibaly. I mean, Koulibaly and Rudiger are both similar, really. And I enjoy both of them. Drew Bellingham, I believe, is on tradable. Yep, on tradable. What a card. If we saw Marco Royce, I used. I might have. I used Marco Royce a heck of a lot, didn't I? Yeah. 263 games I used him for. He was a sensational man, like. <laughs> But look at the look, look at the bench. The bench is so stacked. I was like, I was sport for choice, really, because I could use so many SPCs, and all the SPCs I did were good. Uh, Ronaldo Sanchez, another SPC I completed as well. Uh, 132 games I used him towards the end stage of FIFA. He was insane, phenomenal. Uh, Anthony, we didn't use him that much, but again, five star skill, four star weak foot. I mean, he's normal cards like three star weak foot, but the fifties gave him like a a four star week for upgrade so it's nice so very nice and it doesn't stop there boys it does not stop there i'm gonna go through all of the cars we got some of the loan cars so these are loans marcus rashford untradeable um 
Yeah, we didn't use him, but we were lucky enough to get him. Who remembers Kaylini? Kaylini, right? He was like probably the SPC. He was like second valuable SPC in the game. Like Kaylini and the era card. If you didn't complete this, S if you didn't complete this card, you were absolutely idiot. You were absolute idiot if you didn't complete this card because look at him. He was an absolute freak as a defender, man. I mean, Kaylini in Fever 22. If you know, you know. And then we got um, Gabriel Jesus. He was a um, objective card that he had to com complete. I can't really remember too much. But yeah, use it for nine games. He didn't really score any goals, but hey. He is what he is. Joe Cole, untradeable, I believe. Yeah. I mean, I liked him. When I, I actually watched him quite a bit when I was growing up. He was playing for Chelsea. And yeah, I really liked him as a player. I respect him. Luis Suarez. Um, untradeable as well. Like pretty much this club is un untradeable apart from, let's say, Marcelo. Like again, Gomez. Well, we just picked him up just for um, Kalesen's sake. Atal, untradeable. Uh, Madison, untradeable. Cancelo, untradeable. Oscar, untradeable. Courtois, we used him for a bit until we got Nick Pope. Nick Pope, in my opinion, the best keeper in the game. Spinosola. Who remember Spinosola, guys? Spinosola was a demon when he first came out. Like, he was so good. But, uh, but uh, unfortunately, though, like, as we were getting better cars, he got, like, um, outdated a bit. But he was still good. El Shirari, another demon. I enjoy using him. Fight our skill, four star weak for. He was his absolute freak train. Adama Chirore, I mean. Super Supple Dreams. <laughs> I mean, if you got a damage away, you're going to use him on the bench, right? You're going to bring him on the bench. That's that's the rule. If you got a Dharma, he has to be on the bench and bring him on later on. Reese James. Um, f a great card. A very good card. Like, once again, I was bought for choice um, because I could play so many good SPCs and my team was literally getting stacked. We've got this guy right here. Untradeable, he was a SBC as well. Um, five stars, weak foot, that's very nice. Uh, Rafinha, use him for 104 games. Very good card, I enjoy using him. I use him sometimes as a striker as well, but mostly in the centre mid. We got Freddy Lundberg, Lafront, uh, who else we got? Hakimi, team of the year, who remembers him? He was in Sensational. Uh, Uno Mendes. I use him for a bit. I might get his red card, but I just got like a team of season version of him on tradable. He was alright. Kirulunu, um, Tiago, on tradable. <laughs> Who remembers this guy right here? This guy was pretty good, you know. He wasn't that bad. I'll tell you what, this card wasn't that bad when I when I used him. I thought he was gonna be one of those cards that's just gonna be like meh. But he really wasn't that bad. Uh, Dion Mendes, so shout out to him. Balotelli, Diaby. Oh my words. A player that if you can't fit him in your squad, you can use him on the bench. It's not really a big problem. Acuna, um, he's like a card you can use like in a midfield sort of position, like a centre mid or CDM, not as a left back because, yeah, people use him as a, um, a midfielder. Any, any more? We got Cabavinga, um, Nani. Any more here? These two, but we're not gonna talk about them too much. Any, anyone mention worth mentioning about? No. And um, before we end the video, I'm going to show you the SPCs that I did manage to complete and managed to put into another SPC because they were better. Um, players out there so first and foremost it was Neymar Jr his flashback if you guys remember where is he where's the flashback yeah flashback Neymar I used him a heck of a lot during team of season as well I used his card and I was finally able to get a better present a better player than him but Neymar um flashback five star skill was four star weak for he had the pace his shooting was good passing was a bit meh um, he had better stamina though, like the gold card, where's his gold card, 
he got quite like um, 81 stamina, but the flashback feels a lot more faster. Like Neymar, I would say passing wise, gold Neymar, beast uh, flashback Neymar and passing, and I think shooting as well. I think yeah, I think shooting too. But Neymar had like the but the flashback version had the, the pace, the dribbling, and the stamina. That 90 stamina helped helped a lot. So he was an SPC that I was happy to do. Anyone else I managed to do? It was Trent as well. Trent Alazon Arnold. His flashback version. Um, <laughs> five star skill moves, four star weak foot. I mean, this card was so versatile. You could play him as a like a cent uh, sentiment CDM, you can even use him as a, um, a left back or even a right back, in my opinion. He was that versatile, you can use him in those positions. Really good card, shooting is ridiculous, and he felt like a bare version of his gold card as well. So, yeah, Trent and Lazard Arnold, fast black version, thank you so much. Deli Ali, another SPC I completed too. Uh, the flashback version ended up him to another SBC, but w he was really good. Um, I think I prefer Trent though over Deli Ali because I think Trent was a bit more um, had a bit more skills to him than Deli Ali. He had like a what four star, four star, but Deli Ali is just uh, again another good card. I really like using him. Another SBC that I completed as well. I'm trying to think of any SBCs. Who remembers? If I can get if I can spell this game this name correctly, which I have. Who remembers this one? He was the SBC of the year, in my opinion. Kuguri. Look look at him. He came out early as well. You can use him as a um as a mid as a center mid, a CDM. Or if you can't put him if you can't fit him on the start 11, you can use him on the bench and bring him in for like a more of a defensive role, more than attacking role, because he was built for that. Yeah, he was the SBC of the year. I really enjoy using him. It's sensational, just just sensational. I'm trying to think of another SBC that I completed as well. There were so many SBCs I completed, it was, it's, it's mad. Like some of the SBCs I completed is, is crazy. Um, if I forget what if I forget some someone then please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be answering your questions. Ryan Kent showdown. Um five star week for four star skill moves. I was quite gutted that he didn't get the upgrade because um Braga did beat them in the first leg, so Braga got the upgrade. I mean if Kent would have actually if Ranger had won that first game then he would have gone like a sensation upgrade, but unfortunately he didn't, which is quite depressing. Uh, another SBC that I I don't think I actually got to do, but I saw a lot like, a lot of players like getting him. It was a um, workhorse. Workhorse, yeah, this guy right here. Look at him. <laughs> I saw p pro players like even people using him. Look at him. Six for six, four star, four star. 92 jumping this guy was unstoppable in the air like you cannot beat him in the air the only person like, not even van dyke not even the best defenders can even um out jump him it was mad like he's one of those few players that you can out jump defenders can't wait for um and then i'm gonna show you guys one more spc that i completed before i leave you guys and enjoy your christmas was indeed Chris Woods. He wasn't that bad, Chris Woods. He wasn't that bad. I mean, low high, six for three. I mean, he's got 93 jumping. He was a he was very very strong though, very strong. He had 93 pace for someone who's six for three. So that is absolutely a freak. He was a freak. And um, yeah, absolute monster. Oh wait a minute, now I know. There was another SPC. I com there was actually two more SPCs I competed. Sorry, guys. I just lied. The Costa, Daniel the Costa. I was very happy to compete him. Eventually, again, put him to an SPC because that because there were so many good players there during TV season. I was very happy that he got the upgrade though. I did compete him. 
Um, he was very good. Definitely one of the best fullbacks in the game. He had like I think a four yeah four star a week for as well, so that's very nice. You could play him on the left hand side if you want to. Nike fight pace, defending great, uh, agility and balance for seasonal, uh, physical perfect, like any like pretty much near the complete fullback apart from shooting, but who cares? And then I think it was Guerrero. <laughs> Okay, this will be the last one, guys. I, I, I promise. I promise. I promise. Guerrero, I completed his center. I went for the center mid option, guys. I went for the center mid option of him. He was good. I enjoyed using him. His center mid had uh, five star weak foot. Okay, both of them have like five star weak foot, but this person right here, the center mid person, is left footed, whilst the the right back version is the right is right footed, so you have to bear that in mind. But yeah, he had like, but yeah, the um, the centre version had like better dribbling, I think shooting as well. Yeah, better shooting, better passing. Whilst the right back version had like better defending, pretty much. Right, the right back version, as you can see, pretty much maxed out in pace and physicals as well. Uh, for the centre mid, near max star apart from let's say strength, aggression and jumping. So yeah, guys, that is it for this little club tour. That I um, that's it for the club tour. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Different type of video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below um, your thoughts on this video. If I miss anyone out, let me guys know in the comments down below. This has been Drop a Lesson here. Take care and have a Merry Christmas and goodbye.